Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stalling. Yeah. We are the risers. We're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah. We're here to give you the news about your dear beloved blues. Yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. Of yeah, the day after the night before. Um still disappointed, didn't make a video, so I was too upset and I'm still upset after losing to another mid table team, you know. Why are we always losing to these bottom slope mid table teams then? It's so annoying because like Arsenal fans are actually confident, it's just <laughs> Yeah, but you know why they were confident, Zane? Oh. Because they knew who the referee was. And two years ago, when we played them, or three years ago, was it under Conte when we could have got the double? This referee was the same one. We'll talk about the referee in a minute anyway, because this is he just annoyed me. Don't but, forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on all post notifications so you don't forget where we make a video, share this video, and comment down below. Yeah, so let's start with team news, eh? and we started off um, the same team as last week. Um, three for three. Oh, William, um, William didn't play last week though. He was injured against Wolves. Um, and well, no, that, that was the first news because William, we were told, was going to be fit, but then he he wasn't even in the match team squad. So I think he had a breakdown in training. So that was a blow for us because we missed his energy and work rate. And so, um, and Loftus Cheek, as we, you know, he was out injured. Kante, well, I was hoping to see Kante, but obviously. He wasn't fit enough to play, and for he was, on the bench. he was on the bench. But for everyone who was saying, oh, you know, I saw, you know, only oh, why didn't he come on at half time or whatever? Um, Frank Lampard addressed that by saying that he wasn't fully fit. And what we don't want is to um, have a situation like last season, where um, the differences between Frank and Sari. I'm going to do a video on Frank and Sari actually uh, later because all these Sari people are just coming out of the woodwork, happy that Chelsea lost the cup. Not Chelsea supporters, really. So, you know, we don't want those sort of people in our club. Get out of our club if you're thinking like that. Um, and what the difference is, because um, Sarri had never won a cup before, Zane. He sacrificed Zane, um, Kante and, and sort of injected him with a lot of painkillers. And that's why we're seeing him having a lot of injuries this is season. Yeah, Penker, that's why he played last season. He wasn't fully fit against Arsenal, but obviously um, Sarri wanted a trophy. That's why he played. So Frank Lampard didn't do that. Frank Lampard is thinking long term. So he thought, OK, I could play him and probably get a trophy. But what about the implications for next season going forward? So he couldn't risk him. He followed the medical advice. So so that's why Kante didn't play. So, um, yeah, so it was a good... good but we knew... It wasn't going to be our day, Zane. Obviously, we started off well. For the, don't you think? First 15 minutes, we were brilliant. Awesome. Right. First off, yeah. And I say, I say the, before the drinks break. Just before the drinks, drinks break, we were really good. Um, we had chances. Mason Mount should have... He had a shot, which he should have really played Giroud in. But he took the shot on instead, and the goalkeeper saved it. Then, good move. Great finish by Pulisic. And Arsenal weren't even in the game. And I thought, yeah, this is it. We're going to score two or three. But... Again, when we're in the ascendancy, we didn't score that second goal. Um, we had another shot, who was it? It was Pulisic, I think, had another shot, wasn't it? Was saved by the goalkeeper. And then, but the warning signs were there just before the drinks break, Zane, because we were playing a very um, hard press. And we were doing quite, having a, good, a lot of success with the press. But once they beat the press, then we were in trouble. Our back line was exposed and they were knocking it long. People said they was tactical little Frank was tactical out of class but there wasn't a lot of tactics involved it was just a case of get the ball knock it long it was a long ball tactics to um, beat the press go over the press and go try and hit the channels for a Bamian because they've got the pace of a Bamian and Lacazette to, to run onto so the danger signs were there I think Louise misplaced the pass if he had passed it correctly then a Bamian was in but we just didn't... Um, well, I think um, what Frank made a couple of mistakes. I think after, the first mistake he made was after the drinks break, saying what he should have done is warned him of that ball over the top and maybe said, you know what, we've got the goal. 
um, let them come at us and let's do let them because obviously Arsenal were going to be playing a counter attacking football. That that works if you're if it's nil nil or you're defending a goal. We were the ones defending a goal, so I think he should have said, okay, let's stop the high pressing now. Arsenal need the goal. They need to come at us. Let's invite them onto us and let's hit them on the break. So let's go step back a bit deeper to stop them from playing those long balls because there's no space to run into and hit them on the break. That's what I would have done if I was a manager. Anyway, and. Um, so just after the drinks break, it was just like it was a different Chelsea team, wasn't it? And uh, Asper Laqueta made a mistake, gave away the penalty, and one one. So Zane, you're not talking a lot. You're still upset. Yeah, yeah I can. Yeah. I'm not really upset, but we did, did need it. We did need it. We did need it. You know, a cup's a cup, and it's just and yeah, but it, yeah, Champions League is more important. But we did need it because it gives these players confidence. It shows them how to win. We have Champions League yeah, too. but it doesn't matter. A cup's good for the confidence. Winning breeds success. No, you don't understand what I'm saying. We still have Champions League to win. No, we don't. We're not going to beat Thing three 0 Come on, we're not going to do that. That's the wishful thinking pipe dream. If we can't beat this poor Arsenal team, there's no no way we're going to be. Um, um, by Munich after being 3 0 down, come on, and without with all these injuries. So, so yeah, so once that goal went in, Chelsea always have that tendency, and I've been saying it throughout all my match review videos, and it's just like a scratch record. We do not, um, we've got the mentality is weak within the club, so we can't react after a goal scored against us, we cannot react, and so we just didn't react after the Arsenal scored that goal. They only look like one winner, or they, they, they only like one. Of, uh, they, they look like the team we we're going to score. We didn't look like a team we we're going to respond. So we need to improve that mentality side. And it's not a Frank Lampard thing. It's been happening under Sarri last season. It happened under Conte the season before. So the people, the personnel we, we we need to buy are people with strong mentalities, leaders, captains, people who can, when the chips are down, step up to the plate and play the game. As we mentioned in the video, Zane, it was only against Arsenal and Aston Villa that we've come back from a goal down, although we were at a goal down, but it's only we've responded to losing the goal. So we need to improve on that next season. But, you, you know, after that goal went in, you, always, you knew it was going to be Arsenal's day because what happened? That's better. I forgot to have, um, Yeah, hamstring. So that's what's better. Had an hamstring injury. He's got to come off. So we go in at 1-1 one, one, and I turn around to you after the Pulisic thing. What did I say to you? Arsenal are going to win. Gonna win. It's not a day. It's not going to be our day. When that happened, there's certain things that happen in football <clears throat> and then you just realise, you know what? It's not going to be your day. He would have scored. He was through. He was, cl he was clean through. Um, but he pulled up. That's what allowed the Arsenal defence to get back at him. But he still... And that's what he's what I'm talking about character and determination. He has got the determination and character that you need. He was injured, but he still tried to, for the team to score the goal. And obviously, on one, you know, the hamstring had popped, but he still got the shot away. And, you know, it just went wide. And he came off, and I thought, you know what? Game over, done, it's gone. But um, Frank's second mistake, I think, of the, of, the, of the game was when he came off, he brought on. Pedro. I don't think he should have brought on Pedro. I'm sorry. I know Pedro's got experience and everything else. But for me, I would never have brought on Pedro. I would have brought on um, Hudson Adoy. The reason why is because holding isn't the quickest. So down that side, you know, Pulisic yeah, was. Yeah, but um, Pedro's quick. Pedro is quick, but he's not as he's not as lightning quick as as Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy has got more pace than him. But Pedro's quick. No, but Pedro's quicker than Hudson Adoy. No, yeah, he's not. Really no, he's not. He's not as quick as Hudson Adoy, as I say. He's not. So um, I'd have put on Hudson Adoy because I think he'd have offered more of a threat than, than Pedro. And um, and that's where you got foot game management comes into it. You know, Pedro, um, sorry, Hudson Adoy hasn't played a lot this season. So you know what I'd have said? As a manager, you say, you know what? You know, you've had an up and down season, lots of injuries, go out and win the FA, FA Cup for us. Go and prove your doubt is wrong. That's what a good manager does. And I'm not saying Frank's not good. He's, he's still got a bit of experience to do. But I'd have done that as a psychology thing. You know, it's your chance now to go and win it for us. 
you know. And he's staying next season as well. So Pedro's going and psychologically it shows that the manager's got faith in you when you know you're putting on somebody who's gonna go rather than putting on someone who's the future. So it's just little things like that. Little managerial things like that I think which need to what Fran needs to improve upon. Yeah, that's just me uh, saying that. So anyway, once that is, that's popped, then I said, yeah, no chance, no chance. The luck is with Arsenal. And then Rudiger does that stupid Rudiger moment. He needs to get out of the club as well. He's just useless. He's just a poor defender. You know, Bellerin's running through. What sort of tackle was that? A nothing tackle. You know, wild, you know, nowhere near the ball. He just breezes past him early. He doesn't even bring him down. He's gone past him. Not even a tactical foul to bring him down or anything. Just a nothing thing to just expose the back line. You know, back line is exposed. You know, Aubameyang's one-on-one. Zuma, he turns Zuma and a decent finish. So he's a one quality player, but Aubameyang, all the rest are just average. You know, and so that's, that's the worst thing. We lost to poor average side so zoom in so really good needs to go to an average side someone like you know, we'll talk about him in a minute. Zuma needs to go to an average side. Zuma. He needs no, it's not Zuma. Really good. He needs to go to an average side. He needs to go to a mid-table yes. club like Arsenal or someone like that. You know, yeah, so he's, he's got no, no. And then that's it, really. And then <clears throat> you know what? We're going to end this video here, and then we're going to do another video for the referee because this, you know, if I did the, the video for the referee, it's going to take up another ten minutes. So we're going to end this video. We're disappointing to lose the game 2-1 you know but it was avoidable we didn't play well I'm saying that you know we, we only played well for the first 15-20 minutes and after that yeah so you know well done Arsenal you, you know you you had a better team on the day you deserved it you know but <clears throat> it could have been avoided with some of the poor refereeing decisions but even with the refereeing decisions we didn't um, we, we, you know we didn't show enough desire and heart the two things I asked for in, in the game were Chelsea to make a good account of ourselves, which we only did for 20 minutes and for no controversial decisions which there were a lot of which we'll talk about in part two of this video so guys don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified when we make a video share this video comment down below okay take care then bye bye